in the source of this moment this infinite bliss the source of this moment is infinite goodness the essence of consciousness and in its purest form in its transcendental form is infinite goodness so everything at its essence is infinite bliss and source of who you are is infinite goodness and the source of every thought every experience every action is infinite goodness and source of all manifestation is infinite goodness so if you are able to dive deep into any experience and dive deep into any thought any emotion you surrender ego you can't find it through ego you can't find it through the mind but if you let these things go you let go of holding on to your stories you let go of holding on to your knowledge you are humbled in this moment and you will find the very source of this moment is infinite bliss divine joy and divine goodness divine love but this perception must be developed over time but there are ways where we can feel this inner goodness In these videos or hopefully and it is my intention that they become a refuge of infinite goodness for you that if you take the time to sit and relax let go of your judgments and you feel the inner goodness in this moment you feel a sense of peace feel an energy you feel something clear mm. my shakti music is the same when you listen to the music there is a vibration of infinite goodness infinite bliss So it also becomes a sanctuary. Where if you relax, allow everything to be, you listen to the music like we're listening to in this moment. It 
it's easy to feel the joy that is at the essence of this moment. At least taste it. But then practice is were given for thousands of years spiritual practices that also help you feel this goodness. Chanting Sanskrit mantras. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Do that for half an hour, it will be very difficult to be unhappy. If you follow a breathing technique, Kriya breathing or one of the prana breathing techniques you practice every day it becomes a source it becomes a method where you can tap into the goodness the goodness within your breath the energy the prana within your breath awareness itself being aware in this moment in the awareness you feel as a sense of peace a sense of bliss to it a sense of freedom from stress but we also have to be aware the food we allow into our bodies the energy of that food, and the healthier, more alive and sprouts and greens and salads and fruits all have a life force about them. And the people we interact with, and the thoughts we keep, the media we allow into ourselves. We create conflict with someone. We take on the energy of the conflict and we take on the energy of the person because now our thoughts go to the person. We desire to be with someone. We like someone. It's a beautiful thing. But our attention goes to that person. Starts to take on the energy of that person. The music we listen to. What we allow ourselves to be involved with in our thinking. It's normal we may have some crazy thoughts, but do we want to entertain them? Do we want to grab hold of them? Or do we want to turn our attention to a mantra instead? Or turn our attention to being aware of the thoughts? It's really not difficult to create a life where our attention is in goodness. Where we are able to abide in the bliss that is underneath everything. I'm not talking about turning our attention to what we think is good, opposed to what we think is bad. We're not looking at morals or concepts or beliefs. We're looking to tap into what is here beyond beliefs. Then more and more, 
you locate intuitively the inner goodness of this moment. Through practices, through awareness, through lifestyle, you begin to recognize the goodness in this moment. joy in this moment that is unconditional because it is your essence because it is who you are and it is what is deep inside you It is who is looking through your eyes. It is who is aware of this moment. And we don't have to leave ourselves. We accept exactly who we are in this moment. We accept our experience. Allow it to be and sink deep into the experience. Surrendering ego, surrendering stories, surrendering the five senses, surrendering everything we know. Being humble. We find the source of who we are. So hopefully you feel something good in this moment. If you do, please feel free to comment. May you be blessed in her infinite goodness. Much, much love to you. Much love.